just a little bit higher, higher, higher. Down the stairway to heavens, we can have a couple back a better rock. Roll and retire. Get off my cloud, it's a long time gone. Hey, you little bastards, get off of my heart. All right, y'all know the words now. Oh, yeah, you cover, sing along. I've had my 19th nervous breakdown. My foxy lady spawned a voodoo child. But hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, yeah, I got something for you, jingle on, pal. I got that dangling conversation with banging that gum. Hey, hey little hey, bastards, hey, get off of my heart. Control my gout. Man, locks help to it's a gas, gas, gas. Green onions make me twist and shout. I let the sun shine in and rub a 30 block on. Come on, hey, little bastards, get off of my lawn. You can even do it right, you gotta get off my lawn. What was that? Well, I went to see the urologist. You know that it was kind of a drag. He said, you better take a load off and it. Before Papa needs an Albert new bag, I can see for miles and miles where my Papa was on. Come on, y'all. Hey, you little bastard. Get off of my lawn. Now, the only thing is that sometimes y'all come out here and you all know what to expect, and other people are wandering by and they're going, well, it's kind of funny, but did you hear they're yelling cuss words in there? And it's like, sometimes I want to kind of lighten it up, and you know, we talk about, I heard Irma Thomas' is just wonderful oh, show last night, and Dick and I were sitting there, and I heard her doing all those songs like It's Raining and all that, and I remember the first time I heard those on this radio station called WLAC, and it came out through the night of this little transistor radio, and I was supposed to be listening to the Washington Senators ball game, and instead I was listening to her, and Kid Anderson and I were talking today, and he said, I said, what did you love about the blues when you first heard it, he said it was tough. It was tough music, and guys like Slim Harpo just sounded kind of weird and perverted, you know, and I said, yeah, exactly. It was cool, and it was a long way away from where I was, and so this is a song about where I kind of came from before I was into the blues, and a song about kind of my very first love in life in a much simpler place and time in Aiken, South Carolina. As you will notice, if we go into this sensitive moment, I'm going to kind of reel back and do my little Yanni head moves like... <laughs> Some of y'all are kind of guy now going, this guy's a little strange, but all right, he's just okay. And the thing is, the Yanni thing is real close to the John Tesh head move. I tell this because when you do the John Tesh head move, on the second part of it, it's kind of like you've had that bad piece of sushi up there in the Lido. It's like... Well, he doesn't cross his eyes or look inbred. He actually goes like this. Is that every time John Tesh does that is when he's just had like this great cosmic revelation moment in one of his songs. So the next time you go to see John Tesh and he does that, you go like that and everybody's getting pissed off. Sorry. 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 Yeah, you don't give us that. And yell for that night's surf party. Here we go. Hey, folks. A hot summer night. Carolina town. Sitting in the tree for Rain pouring down. Playing with my army men, Sears catalog next to me. Staring at my first love. The woman on page 63. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, friends. She was in between the hardware and patio chairs. Talking on a wall phone in sensible underwear. Staring in the distance with that. Remember the Sears bottles had that what does life mean gaze? Billy, what's going on up there? Oh, oh, nothing, Mom. Just a little phase. She didn't look like Marilyn, a big busty blonde. She looked like June Lockhart. Are you old enough to remember when she was Lassie and Timmy's mom? Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I smoked some of that medical a little while ago. I'm having a vision here. Stay with me. You lost me. Stay there. Stay there. Wait a minute. Stay Wait here. She's saying, Billy, come to dinner. The Campbell's soup is warm. Now she's waving from the farmhouse door in a tight black maiden form with her rounded bosoms pushing against the fabric. It's the little nipples. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry. I like 
Is the guy sitting there just reading the book like nothing's happening? This man's gonna struggle. And it's the Blues Cruise, last day, nothing better to do here, so. Go ahead. Where was it? Yes, she was in between a fantasy and a make believe friend. We'd hang out in the tree fort with my army men. Sail the Spanish Bay or ride the range somewhere in my cowboy boots and her underwear. Now, you know, any song like this is going to have that, that coming of age verse, the dragon lives forever, that verse. So, this is my version of it. Came the night we parted as we stood there on the shore. She knew when the ship set sail that Captain Billy would be back no more. You found National Geographic. She said with a smile. I said, now I've got a new friend named Ginger. On that place called Killing and Zombie. <laughs> she did look like Marilyn. A big busty blonde. She looked like June Lockhart. But she was last seen Timmy's mom. Long before the internet. The paper of TV. It was a rainy night. With my arm in Woman on page 63. Oh, those precious memories. Let's go to one y'all. Well, we're down in New Orleans where everything is fine. All of them cats, they are drinking wine. Drinking that mess till the hot's delight. Drinking that, drinking with them hot all night. Thank you. 